Hope for today, January 19th, page 19. The opportunity to share what is in my mind and heart has been key to my recovery. When I came to Al-Anon, I was ready to receive help, but unsure how to get it. I knew something was very wrong, and I assumed it was me. My first year in Al-Anon was difficult. I listened to others courageously share their feelings and childhood experiences. I could only sit and pay heed in shame-filled silence. Surely everyone would see my shameful childhood secrets as I sat silently. As if that weren't enough, I felt shame for being so quiet in the meetings. Despite this sometimes overwhelming sense of mortification, I kept coming back to Al-Anon. In time, I understood that though I wasn't alone in my suffering, I would continue to feel isolated as long as I chose to remain silent. So I began to open up and trust people. I started sharing my worst secrets with the group. To my relief, telling my experiences was met with love and compassion. These days, you wouldn't know I had been the man sitting quietly in the back of the Al-Anon meeting. Today, I say what is in my mind and heart. I know, that do, I know that in doing so, I not only help myself, but others as well. If during my first year of Al-Anon meetings, no one had been willing to share, I would have never known there was others like me. I never would have received the gifts from this wonderful program. Thought for the day. In Al-Anon, I can say what is in my heart and know that my words will be received with understanding and compassion. From Alateen, A Day to Time, page 175. I used to live in my own little prison, locked in by my feelings of hatred and shame. Now, I'm free. The key is using the program to do something for me.